Hey, welcome to JSN Backcountry Snowmobiling. Jason here. In today's video, I'm gonna go over what I wear under my mono suit. So if it's a really cold day, say minus 10 or colder, I wear a mid layer. This is the Climb Inferno. And under the Inferno, say it's getting a little bit warmer and starting to warm up, I'll take off the Inferno and underneath I have the Climb 3.0. So the Climb 3.0 is a fleece base layer, quite warm. If say the temperature was around zero degrees, I would just wear this. It's a high performance base layer. When you sweat, it wicks the moisture away. I'm wearing the Climb Inferno mid layer and underneath that I'm wearing the 3.0 base layer, just like the top. So this is the 3.0 pant. It's their thickest layer, but I find it also very breathable. On warmer days, I wouldn't wear this mid layer pant. It's just too hot on the legs. It's gonna make me sweat. So I would just wear this underneath my mono suit. On the warmest days in the spring, I would go down to this thinnest layer. This is the Climb Adrenaline. They now call it the 1.0. I'm sure it's slightly different. It's the same general idea. Over the past year, I've been testing out some Merino wool synthetic hybrid base layers. This is a Lululemon base layer for running. I use it for running. I find if I sweat, it gets wet, but it's not uncomfortable. The adrenaline can feel kind of gross. Some of those synthetic base layers can kind of feel like you're wearing plastic. Even though it's breathing, that moisture is right up against your skin and I'm just not a fan of it. With the merino wool though, once it gets wet, it doesn't feel that bad. The problem with the merino wool is it does not evaporate nearly as fast as with say the adrenaline. And so if you're stopping and you're trying to get it to dry, it just doesn't really dry. Say it was minus 15 or colder and I'm leaving the truck, I'm gonna put this Climb Everest on. This is their thickest, heaviest, warmest layer. I just put it on and it is hot. I'm starting to warm up already. I would put this on over top of my Inferno and my 3.0 and it might seem crazy, but I don't wanna get cold. So I'm six foot four, 200 pounds with the Everest, the Inferno, the 3.0. This XL rips off still fits over it just fine with plenty of room. I don't feel like it's tight and I can't move around. That's one nice thing about the Ripsa. It's got a lot of room in it. Really good for layering. Hey, I made a video about this Ripsaw mono suit and I compared it to my old Valdez jacket and Togedy bib. I talk about the pros and cons of each. You can find the video up here. Finally, I'm gonna go over the 2.0. I thought they would be somewhere between the 3.0 and the 1.0. I've tried them out and I find that these are not as breathable as my 3.0. The only real use I've had out of this is if I'm doing something where I'm not sweating. It is warm. And I also wear these Climb Mammoth socks. They're their heaviest sock. They're really warm. You might be wondering, is this guy paid by Climb? No, I wish. I've been wearing Climb gear for the last 20 years. It's really durable and really high quality. I have plenty of gear from other manufacturers too, but this is always my go-to. Hey, thanks for watching this far into the video. If you found that helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe. That'll help this video reach other people that might find it useful as well. Once again, I'm Jason. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Put it on.